ओके थैंक यू प्रोग्राम and today we are going to see about the undergraduate and postgraduate degree uh, by the school of social sciences we give the acknowledgement uh, to dr b c kumar regional director igno regional center for sharing the facility of igno regional center trivandrum for the live relay of the promotional meeting by regional center kochi indira gandhi national open university was established by the act of parliament and uh, uh, the main objective is to democratize higher education by taking it to the doorstep of the learners meaning anyone who wants to learn amidst their work commitments the family commitment the social commitments they can enroll for the end degree or program at indira gandhi national open university and is through the distance mode and it provides access to high quality education for all those who seek irrespective of age religion region and gender it also offer need based academic program by giving professional and vocational orientation related courses and it promote and develop distance education in india and igno is also as an a national open university established by the act of parliament the degree diploma certificates issued by igno are recognized by all institution of the association of indian universities and are at par with the corresponding degree diploma certificate issued by all indian universities deemed universities and institution igno is also the first open university in the country to have been accredited with the highest a plus plus grade by nat so these are the things we should know about uh, uh, the igno so that you are aware of what is the institution you want to get to enroll and what are what to study at igno there are these are the things you can study that is undergraduate programs pro, post graduate programs diploma program post graduate diploma programs pg certificate program certificate program and appreciation course programs the duration of undergraduate program in igno is minimum 3 years maximum that is you can stretch up to 6 years and it is offered both in january and july cycle of admissions you may wonder what is this minimum and then what is this maximum minimum is the minimum duration of 3 years first year second year third year so because you study amidst your family commitments your social commitments and your personal commitments somehow you are unable to keep track to this 3 year schedule you can stretch up to 6 years to complete the program of study and today we are going to highlight about the school of social science uh, undergraduate program and masters degree program this school of social science this is one among the 21 schools in indira gandhi national open universities and the bachelor of art honors degree is in the following discipline economics history political science philosophy public administration sociology and the bachelor of arts in economics ba ech the bachelor of arts uh, in honors in history the political science psychology public administration history and also the uh, anthropology all these are honors degree and there are 14 disciplines in bachelor of arts of which seven is from school of social sciences the anthropology economics history political science psychology public administration and history and so this uh, the eligibility criteria is 10 plus 2 and uh, we we can also uh, uh, if you are having a higher degree you can still uh enroll for another degree from indira gandhi national open university 
the duration of master's degree program is minimum is two years and maximum is four years offered both in january and july cycle of admission so whenever you think of a month suppose you are planning to study uh, say in uh, after march it means you are going to enroll for july session similarly if it is between september and this is uh, up it is for the january session and here also for the post graduation degree it is two years program the first year the second year but however due to certain commitments you are unable to do the program you can stretch the max the period of study to four years to suit your convenience the program uh, which are under school of social sciences or master of arts political science the master of arts in history master of arts in sociology master of arts in psychology master of arts in economics master of arts in public administration master of library and information science master of arts in anthropology and master of arts in gandhi and peace studies the one uniqueness in the social uh, the school of social sciences is that many of the subjects are relevant for competitive exams also so when you are aiming to get the uh, materials for your study you can still log on to our ignu website uh, uh, that is www.ignu.ac.in and go to the e gyan gosh link that is the digital library and you can download the material for your use the eligibility criteria for masters degree is uh, any bachelor's degree or a higher degree from a recognized university so what you should know before joining a program of study is that the program details program details means what is the program about is such a post graduation means what what is the discipline what is the school it offers what is the flexibility it gives what are what are the elective courses it has and what are the compulsory courses one have to do is it project oriented it is is it related to the very relevance of how we have to move out when it comes to uh, studying all that is related to uh, the program details and the title of the course is more like the name of the course and what is the value of a course that is the credit sometimes the subjects individual subjects will be six credits or eight credits but the cumulative value will have a, a unique structure for a post graduate and the undergraduate degree and so you should know the credit of the course especially when you are choosing a elective so that you amount the total credit needed for that program for successful completion the course code course code is more like a nickname or abbreviation to for the title of the course and what is the eligibility and also the duration of the course all this you should know before enrolling for any program not only in igno Uh, before studying or joining to study, and you may ask why this promotional issue. This is because we feel the uh, felt need for continuing education. How much ever you get a qualification and you get into a job, still people uh, look for continuous upgradation of their skills, continuous upgradation of their knowledge. and also after we insist upon acquiring more educational qualifications so if we continue education there is always a spin of benefits when it comes to your career and also personal fulfillment and the importance of lifelong learning is also felt and this is more so because the constant change in the new normal situations which has evolved after the pandemic good hold for continuing education that is the uh, concept which you always use because the age between us the newcomers and the age between us and the our seniors will determine whether we are suitable for the job so the it uh, the education qualification also helps us to sustain us in the uh, job which we are holding and anywhere any time education is on the rise and uh, we know that irrespective of where we are we can still have the longing to study and it means that 
there is a lot of features when which are relevant to the distance learning system. And ITO as a distance education provider with the features of IGNO which we have shared so far, that is its international jurisdiction, its ability to accommodate within the maximum period of study if you are unable to complete it within the minimum period of study. And it takes to the doorstep of the learner irrespective of the age, the religion, region. And all this makes it a good educational institution or the best option to join a IGNU program if you are an aspirant of educational qualification. And what to study uh, at IGNU, we were uh, discussing undergraduate program, postgraduate program, diploma program, postgraduate diploma, postgraduate certificate and certificate. And so among this, today we were highlighting on the undergraduate and postgraduate program on offer by the School of Social Sciences. And uh, it, it is the right time for you to apply for the July admission. And of course, because the session specific does not relate to your need, irrespective of the month which you are applying, you will be either accommodated for the January session or the July session. And how to apply is mainly through the IGNU website, ignu.ac.in, in that the online admission link is there in the summer portal itself. And you can, it is only through online, there is no offline forms. And we always take this opportunity to share certain life skills needed for education. So if you are interested in education, of how to think, how to move ahead when it comes to uh, relating to your need is a concern. So the, the, we always say that certain life skills which you have to if you have observed, the desire for uh, continuing education will be in everyone, but the desire to spare the unnecessary things out of their life so that that time is put for education will be only in selected few. So you have to be honest. Suppose uh, one more thing you will observe is that one can listen to so many things and we still do certain work like cooking, like uh, watching TV. But you cannot keep uh, sitting and studying and at the same time watching TV. So you have, it is not possible to be done as a multitasking unit. Education or studying as a habit cannot be uh, done along with other routine work. So you have to exclusively set aside a time. So you have to be honest. What is the uh, goal of your you enrolling into the program of study. Will there be any benefit for you if you study in this? And will it, will it clearly help economic in, you know, factors or only in psychological concept? Most of both things you need to be aware of. And you also please take one day at a time in a mean set one day targets. Today I have, I have uh, 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 what is it, I have taken the book. Let me read at least one page. And how I am going to move, it matters a lot. So let me start, one, uh, take one day at a time when it comes to setting up the goals. And whenever we think of uh, today, many a time today's energy is lost thinking of what will happen tomorrow. So do not worry about tomorrow. Many a time in education especially, tomorrow seems to be very long. And thinking about tomorrow may lose your, your opportunity or your potential to do what you have to do today. For example, if you are thinking that you are in an uncertain um, moment of your uh, career or you are, you are in a transferable job, many a time when it's time to apply for exam, the students will think what will happen if I am not there. That is not a thing to worry when it's time to apply. The thing to worry is where to apply and uh, how to apply should be your concept. So take one task at a time and do not worry about tomorrow. Do what you have to do today and also think of the spin of benefits. Many a time, see, even everybody uh, um, get see, in the process of searching for a new website, many a time the students come and tell. They get into other links which may be time consuming, 
time engaging and also at the same time may not lead to any economic activity related to education. So, for example, watching a cartoon or watching a WhatsApp messages, etc. So, when you want to spare the time for education activity, think of a spin off benefit situation here. What will happen if you complete the degree? What will happen if the once you complete the degree and you apply it to your career, to your curriculum, and you do your own bio data? And how much age it will keep, and all this matters a lot when it comes to uh, for you to fo be focused uh, to enroll into a program of study. And this is the website which we have, igno.ac.in, and the second line that is the igno.admission.summit.edu.in is where you will get into to know about the um, admission and our our regional center uh, email id is rcquestion at igno.ac.in and we also have certain promotional meetings uh, which are uh, related videos which we have uploaded in the youtube channel of indra Gandhi national open university regional center Kochi. So with this, uh, we conclude today's program uh, in which we have highlighted that uh, the undergraduate programs and the postgraduate programs offered by School of Social Sciences. And mainly these are uh, curriculum oriented, the arts subjects we call it. And the transaction is that there are multiple electives and there are uh, uh, enough choices given to you as a learner to choose one among the many. And uh, before we end, we want to just share a small uh, thought so that it may it will help you to remember what you have to do, not only in the choice of your uh, education program, but also in life. When you are driving many a time, the road looks like a dead end. But when you go to the dead end, there will be either U turn or left turn or right turn, but never a straight. So when 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 you are stuck with one dead corner, definitely there is going to be multiple options. And this multiple options will come to be known to you only when you reach the dead corner, dead end. So the, what is the moral which we can take? Many a time this pandemic situation may would have made you to be shifting from your past job to this current job and you also will be thinking of what to do next beyond this job so shifting jobs may would have put you in a dead end but think of the opportunities which the dead end will give when you reach that point and at this juncture only the skill development or the upgradation of your skills by earning more education qualification will uh, be an important tool and many times the emotional con conscient or the intelligent conscient will be enhanced when you have the spiritual conscient that is the trust in the God for to handle all the a challenging situations in life. So with this small thought, that is dead end is not the end. It may open up many opportunities and trusting God will help you to handle the challenges in your life. And education acquiring itself is a challenge, especially for an adult learner who uh, studies amidst the uh, personal, social, official, and also family commitments. So with the small thought, we leave uh, uh, the wide option of uh, subjects available with Indra Gandhi National Open University for the undergraduates and postgraduate programs. Uh, especially today, we were discussing about the School of Social Sciences. And uh, please be benefited by enrolling, especially if you are uh, 10 plus 2 and you are looking for some additional degree. And uh, also, if you have passed out your degree and you are looking for a postgraduate degree. And with this, we close to today's session. 
and we look forward with another session on another day. Thank you.